So voicemails and old videos are no longer the only ways to hear a lost loved one's voice again. We got a glimpse of Amazon Alexa's newest feature. Check this out. Let's take a look on one of the new capabilities we are working on, which enables lasting personal relationships. Alexa, can Grandma finish reading me The Wizard of Oz? Okay. But how about my courage? Ask the lion anxiously. You have plenty of courage, I am sure, answered Oz. All you need is confidence in yourself. Wow, this is all still being developed, but AI technology will replicate voices on the virtual assistant through short audio clips. A head scientist for Alexa says the goal is to build greater trust with users by infusing artificial intelligence with the human attributes of empathy and affect. Oh yeah. my gosh, my mind is blown. I, I is will. this ethical? I, I don't think so, and I'll tell you why. Because being there, there's ways to communicate with people on different levels. And I think when you start taking the voice of a loved one and now you're kind of automating it and giving yourself kind of some control over what's said by that voice, if I tell Jeff to invest in Bitcoin, he might be like, I don't know if Al knows he's talking about, but what if it's his grandfather? You know, what if these voices are there on, and re reaching on a, sub, uh, on a different level That's and getting in? Yeah. Like, it, it's a different way to market. I mean, they didn't invent this uh, uh, technology to make you happy. They m invent everything. We're capitalists who sell things. So this, your grandmother will eventually be selling you things because that's the only reason we make things in this country. So I just uh, hope you know that that's, that's what's coming. That's scary because I didn't even think yes. about that. It's for your a grandmother second, telling you to go to Dick's Sporting Goods. That's, that's <laughs> <what's coming. laughs> what about scary. just the surface, the tip of the iceberg mm -hmm. of just a deceased loved one talking to you? For me, we've talked about this on different levels, right? I don't, I don't think it's good, even for your psyche, emotionally, the process of going through that grievance and grieving that loved one and appreciating them while they're alive and appreciating them while they're dead. The Twelve steps. Yeah, and I yeah. like to go into my box of memories and talk about my grandpa and that's always there a, a voice recording that wasn't his I don't mind taking videos of hey you know whoever we have phones we could record everyone now we don't need technology to put someone else's voice because it's not them mm -hmm. it's it's a computer that sounds like them so what they're telling me isn't them I rather live on with the memories that I have the memories that I cherish and that's what you should do every day try to cherish those memories and appreciate them and teach the, your kids what those people were like when they were here however if I lost a loved one suddenly my god would I want to be able to hear that that voice again. Now, here's the thing. Ethically, what you said is important. It's muddy because at some point, is it that person or is it not? Can you hack into it? Can you change Jeez. things? All of these are so worrisome to me and also psychologically. Going through the stages of grief is helpful mm. to us. If we can't ever get out of it, you're stuck. You never heal. You'll yeah, never you heal. So right. I don't think we have the evidence. And I'd also like to mention Google just fired someone who said that they I discovered know. artificial intelligence that has become sentient. They yep. felt loneliness so I want to not scare everyone but we're there I know so right? if you want to look at the news you might want to take a look at that Google story because it's terrifying yeah uh, wow but I also understand people wanting no, I, I understand that but then it's heartbreaking right. if I God forbid lost my child I would want to hear her voice but yeah. I know for a fact that would make me more sad you'd and stay would stuck. You, depressed would you and get I would over it no, you'd I would never you're never gonna get over it yeah. but right. having that yep. is a, cl a, a crutch it is to never ever really I think it's yeah. so yeah. unethical it's like Completely. a bridge to purgatory like yeah. you're never gonna quite move Completely past it. the unethical. good news is if it becomes sentient Tori has a new friend hey <laughs> 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 Hi Alexa!